Hello friends, my name is Joel Peter, and if you're like me, you probably wanted to record your Switch gameplay, but you don't own a capture card. Now, because it's quarantine time, you might be noticing something. You saw with the title, it's called Quarantine Time with Switch. You're probably wondering how I did this. It's very simple. There is a tool out there called Sys DVR, and I'm gonna show you how to use that, and I'm gonna show you how to get your Switch to output gameplay over USB. That's right, you're doing this all through one cable on the Switch. There's a couple caveats here. Number one, you might be noticing this thing. This is called an RCM jig. So yes, you have to have an unpatched Nintendo Switch to be able to do this. And you have to be able to get it into custom firmware. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. There are plenty of better tutorials out there. I just specifically wanted to show this one because I think it will make your life a lot easier. If you're like me, you have a first generation Switch with the worst battery and you wanna be able to record your footage until you can save up the scratch to get a capture card because right now things are a little bit different. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how we're going to be able to do this. And then what we'll do, show you how the tool works itself. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn your Switch on. You know, standard Switch, no worries at all. We're getting the Joy-Con to read it, everything's good. All right, next step, what we're gonna do is we're going to actually turn the Switch off. That's right, we're gonna turn it off. Beautiful. Now we're gonna to go to Power Options, hit Turn Off. Now for the magic. First thing we're gonna do is grab our RCM jig. This is our RCM jig, right? I have personally used Kim Foil. Uh, in the past and it has worked decently well, but I'm not gonna teach you how to do that because frankly, it's very annoying to keep doing. All right, it's now in. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to hold the power button and the volume up button in three, two, one. As long as it doesn't turn on, we are in RCM mode. Now what we're gonna do is take our USB-C cable to USB-A cable. We're gonna plug it right into the bottom of our switch. All right, you heard that da 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 sound, the standard window sound, great. All right, now that we have that set, we don't have to do anything with the switch at the moment. We're gonna go back to the computer. Great, so as you can see that RCM device detected, we're gonna go look for our payload, which we'll press right here. We're gonna go ahead and go into our folder called Switch Capture CFW. We're then going to choose Fusei Primary 1.bin. All right, now for the magic. We're gonna go ahead and inject the payload. As long as it does that ding, and as long as this comes up, as long as your device is custom firmware, you will be able to access this and you should have no problems at all. So I'll be back in a moment once we have the switch booted up. Now that we have the switch booted up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our RCM jig from the top. We're gonna attach our Joy-Con to it. Perfect. And we're done with the computer, but I'll show you in a second the beautiful software. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is pop the .nro file onto your SD card. It's called SysDVR. So you go to SysDVR, beautiful. Click on stream over USB. Wonderful. Now that we've done that, there's a couple more things we're gonna have to do here. If it doesn't read it immediately, which is very possible, then there is going to be a piece of software that we're gonna to need to grab. Basically, we're, we're going to install a driver. It's all in the GitHub link, which I'll show you right now, actually. All the instructions are here if you have any issues with this. To run this, you will, will need .NET Core 3, which is not the same as a .NET framework you're going to possibly need a program called Zadig, which is right here. Follow the instructions and you're gonna make sure that your switch shows with the USB ID of 057E and 306. That's super important because then you're going to choose the lib USB Win32 driver for SYS or SysDVR or Nintendo Switch. Now, you can also do this through Mac and you can do this through uh, Linux as well. So let's get into the fun part. Now that we have that done, let's boot up the software. So we're gonna run sysdvrclientgui.exe. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is, one, what we'll do is we'll go stream via RTSP recommended. Great, now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and hit launch. Now that we have it launched, we're gonna make sure we allow access to this. So now it's gonna ask you to connect with your player to RTSP 127.0.0.1 with a port of 6666, so four sixes, right? See that? Great, now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and show the first way we can do this through VLC if you just wanted to play your game over your network. We're now we're gonna go to open network stream and we're just gonna hit play. You're not gonna see anything right now. And that's just because we don't have a game playing. So now we're gonna go back to the switch and we're gonna go ahead and choose a game that we wanna play. All right, now that we have that, 
we're going to go ahead and hit play again down here. And it should, realistically, pick up our stream. Audio included. As you can see, it is working just fine. Perfectly, perfectly good to go. And I'll just point at the screen there so you can see. It's working. <laughs> it's working quite well. That's the delay. And it's kind of great. But if you want to run it directly into OBS, right in your stream, what you can do is you can actually open it up right into your switch. You'll right click, go here, go add, and you'll go to media source. You'll then hit create new, local file, turn that off. Your input will then be set to the IP, the address that was given, which was the 127.0.0.1, and then the colon or semicolon 6666. So four sixes again, we're now going to go ahead and enable it. So we're going to disable, enable, hit that, make sure that's set and give it a few seconds. And there you go. We are now playing Cuphead without a capture card. Now it runs at 720p, 30 FPS. So it's not the absolute greatest quality stream, but it works in a pinch and it works if you do not have a capture card, which I do not. And I'll just make a quick caveat here. As long as you can hold down the button to save a clip, you will be able to use SysDVR. If you cannot hold down the button and it doesn't work in game, then that game will not work. Just letting you know that. So again, my name is Joel Peter. I really do hope you liked this video. If it did help you, share it with your friends, show your streamer friends, show other people who are content creators that have switches but don't have capture cards and have first generation switches of all things that are unpatched and are on custom firmware anyways. Probably a lot of them know this, but if you don't know this, Again, hopefully this helped you and I was able to uh, at least teach you guys something new during your quarantine time here on planet Earth. <laughs> um, again, like it, dislike it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.